I'm the artistic director here at Rahway Dance Theater, and I'm from Newark, New Jersey originally, but raised in Rahway. <laughs> I know Miss Lee because my mom enrolled me here actually when I was, I want to say 11 years old to try my first class and Miss Lee was the teacher. She teaches you the foundation of dance but while she's doing that she's giving you confidence in yourself. It's like for the, one of the first times in your life you're learning. I continued um, teaching because in a private school a young girl told me that um, you know she was excited that I was coming to teach dance. Uh, but she says she was excited to, to do ballet. And she says, you know, when is the ballet teacher coming? And I says, well, I am the ballet teacher. And she said, but you're black. She says, well, there's no such thing as black ballet teachers. And I realized, oops, I really need to be teaching. So I um, kind of fell into this. She's given me options and she's taught me how to pursue anything. She's given me that confidence to feel like I could do anything. Two of my students had never kind of left the town before for them to see their faces, you know, going on the plane, um, going through turbulence and being excited about landing in a foreign country was one of the biggest things I ever did. And it was phenomenal to see these kids' face light up to leave the country. So that's something I'll never forget and that's something I'd love to do again um, going back. Um, after this illness, I really want to get things moving again. Honestly, when I first found out about her sickness, it was heartbreaking because just to know that this is her passion and this is what she lives to do. Like, the studio is her whole entire life, so it was heartbreaking just to know that this was gonna set her back. They said my hemoglobin had gone down to four, and I shouldn't be walking around, and then I got a transfusion immediately, and I was admitted into the hospital. And then upon doing the initial tests, they found out I had um, multiple myeloma. I think anyone could look up to her or someone older than her, a three-year-old, anyone can look at Miss Lee and be like, wow, I wanna be like that person. <laughs> the greatest compliment people have given me is like, you ain't sick. So, <laughs> you know, so the only time when people had seen me with the bald head, they're like, oh, you really are sick. And they're like, we can't believe you're still moving, you're still doing things. And I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna beat this thing. You know, I didn't even know I was sick until I had to put myself in the hospital. So I think um, listening to the music, coming into the studio, this is what keeps me going. And hopefully I'll keep going. If you're in a wheelchair, I'll still dance. There are ballet companies that are wheelchair too. So believe it or not, so they're out there. So that, that's why I'm gonna keep going. <laughs>